was like, so when you say pressure cook, what does that look like? I don't even know how to put this on. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Jack has been waiting for this moment for literally so long. That's insane. Guys, we're about to bring you that full body. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing super, super duper well. And today, guys, we are starting off as usual in the kitchen. What are you making, Bubba? Are you making lunch right now? No, I just filled out my water. Okay, cool. And I wanted to start with unboxing something that I have been putting off and Jack really wants me to unbox it. I don't know what it is. Whenever like it's something to do with like tech or like you have to set something up or I feel like it's like a big deal or something that like I've been looking forward to for a while. When it finally comes, I get so excited because I've been like tracking it and wondering like when it's gonna come. But when it gets to the time to like change over or something, something in me is just like, no, no, it's too soon like no it's a big deal like I, I can't do it right now right it happened with my computer last year I literally couldn't wait for the computer to get here yeah and I was like tracking it and I was like so obsessed with when it would get here and then it sat there for like a few days oh my gosh you're joking now <laughs> Jack hates it he's like why are you doing it right now I was like well you know it just like, you, there's really no excuse it's just me like procrastinating on like something I've made into a big deal in my mind but today my friends we have a new piece of technology that I am very excited to try out. This, my friends, is a new lens here for our vlogging camera. I don't know if you all get excited about tech camera things as much as I get excited about tech camera things. I feel like I don't get excited about tech tech things like over, like in general. But cameras and like camera equipment and like, like oh, just anything like yeah. quality to like make something. I, I love tech when it comes to cameras. But this, my friends, is the Canon 11 to 22 millimeter. And to give you guys a, like, comparison, hold on, there's Miss, Miss Allie here is all over the lens. The kit lens that the Canon M50, I have a Canon M50 or if you're just joining us for vlogging and like I use it for all types of videos, I guess, is a 15 to 45 millimeter. So this one, 11 to 22, will be a much wider angle. And this was a goal ever since we got the M50 towards the beginning of this year, like Christmas time towards the beginning of this year, was to get this lens. Although I knew the kit lens was going to last us totally, totally fine. There are just sometimes in like different portions of our apartment when I'm vlogging and stuff that I'm like, wow, like I really wish that like you guys could see like more or it's like really close up and there's nowhere else to position it. So it just feels really close up. One of the spots here is the kitchen. I like start off here really every vlog and you guys are like positioned and you have to like be tilted up. Whereas I feel like my hypothesis, my educated guess as far as this lens and the wide angle goes would be that you guys wouldn't have to be like as angled because it would be like more farther away so you guys could get more of the surroundings. I like your hypothesis. I mean, my uh, hypothesis. My hypothesis. A lot of people who don't vlog or don't really care that much about cameras might be confused why this is so exciting. It's just like, what are the millimeters? Like, what? why does it matter if it's wide angle? I personally just know from like my personal preference when watching vloggers and videos and stuff like that, I love the wider angle because I watch vlogs to almost feel like I'm coming along with someone in their life and the wider angle of the lens, like not to get like ridiculously wide about it, but the wider the angle, the more I feel like I am in their space space. No, that sounds kind of creepy. You guys know what I'm saying. Like if I could see more of the kitchen as they're like working and cooking and stuff like that, I feel like I'm more there with them. So that's why I was overall excited to get more of a wider angled lens. So the first location we're going to do a before and after will be in this kitchen. I'm going to switch out the lens here. And I also did some like walking around with the original lens, like in nice. different places where I vlog, as well as just like holding the camera and vlogging and stuff. So I'm kind of excited. I wonder if you'll be able to see me sitting here. I wonder too. I've no idea how wide this is going to be. I'm just going to keep the camera in the same position. You better put it on. And switch out the lens. Okay, my friends. Oh 
my Lanta. I am not even kidding you. I am standing oh. in the exact position as where I was before, right? Yeah, you are. I mean, the camera hasn't moved at all. The camera, the camera stayed completely put. I am in the same because I always had to like stand back here in order to like get in frame at I all. I have to lean forward a little bit, but it captures me. Before yeah, but, I was kind of just chilling. Look, now I can literally like oh, not yeah, angle just, them up. And you just step back. And I just hold. You can see my entire torso <laughs> and like my pants. That's insane. Insane. Guys, we're about to bring you that full bodied content. It makes you look taller. It makes me look shorter. It makes me look like a like a skinny legend. Well, if you go step in front a little bit, mm -hmm. you'll see, yeah, now you look as tall as me. <laughs> oh, you look great. Look at this. This is crazy. I can literally show them my outfit when I'm like in the kitchen. That's the call. crazy. Okay. So very Jack has been waiting for this moment for literally so long. In order to get me in frame at all, I used to have to have you guys like tilt it up. This is this is crazy. No words. I'm like leaning fully forward and I'm still in the frame. That's insane. Oh my gosh. What does the lighting do? Each lens has a different an F stop and that essentially means how much light it can like naturally let in. The kit lens itself, let me see if it even tells me. It probably does, I'm just dumb. Okay, so the F stop on this is a 3.5 to 6.3. That's on the kit lens. And on the wide angle, the 11 to 22, it's a 4 to 5.6. And according to my quick Google search reminder to myself, the higher the f-stop number, the smaller the aperture, which means that less light enters the camera. This is exciting. I also wanna put in a few of the unboxing clips because I forgot to do the unboxing with you guys on camera. And right away, Jack was very, very excited about the whole black lens type of situation. He really enjoyed how the black was like gonna look with the white camera. We have a white Canon M50. It just looks really, really freaking sharp and I'm really excited about it. I'm now going to run a few of the before and after clips with the old lens versus this new lens. In several parts of the apartment that I have vlogged before or have felt like the camera was just way too close before, especially in the office. The office, I always felt like I had nowhere to put the camera because it was just like way too close and I couldn't get myself in full frame. So I'm excited to see what those before and afters look like because if it's anything like the improvement with this kitchen shot, holy freaking Hannah. So guys, in the description below, I have added a section for our equipment and that includes my current vlogging slash everything camera, the Canon M50, the lens that I have just purchased, which will now be like my full vlogging setup, as well as my secondary camera, which is the G7X Mark II. I believe they have come out with a Mark III. I don't know the difference between them. I just know the Mark II was the vlogging camera, like the compact starting vlogging camera to get when I started vlogging and I highly recommend it, but I just haven't been keeping up with like the Mark II between the Mark II and Mark III three, but the Mark II is probably more affordable at this point than the Mark III. So if you're just starting out vlogging, it can be really tempting. I feel like to want to get like the best of this and the best of that and like all this stuff. If you're excited about it, go for it. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I hate when people tell me how to live my life. But if you're trying to stay on like the lower price side while you're trying to like figure out if vlogging and like editing and things like that are a fit for you, your phone is an amazing option. Literally the cameras in the phone are just so crazy. I vlogged on my camera on my phone for like ages. I feel like vlogged made videos that was so long ago I honestly can't remember how long I did that and then at some point I got a G7 I think Jack got it for me for Christmas and my life was changed it was such a great additive to the vlogging space it was amazing I'm gonna get some worky bits done but then for lunch today in about an hour or so I have a very exciting it could be a total flop but I am very excited to try out a TikTok recipe that I have been seeing for these little sushi bites like they're not authentic sushi rolls whatsoever, but they are like a more simple version and like less intimidating looking version to like make sushi at home. So I'm kind of really excited about it. Slash a little nervous because I think I have to use an instant pot for like some, I don't even know. We'll probably get Jack to help us on that. Hello, we are back. Here is the TikTok recipe that we will be attempting for these little sushi bites for lunch. I just texted Jack because he was on a phone call and he gave me step-by-step -step instructions on how to freaking use. Oh my gosh, you can see so much of what I'm doing. My instant pot. He makes 
the actual best rice on the Instant Pot. I don't know how, but he gave me instructions and we're gonna attempt to follow them the best that we can. This is where we'll be making our rice, then we like mold it, and then these are, this is the pan that we will be like frying up our rice into little rice balls of sorts. Zoom you guys in. Oh my gosh, the zoom on this lens is so good. You wouldn't even know that it was a zoom. Half a cup of rice, three quarter cups of water. That's a quarter, another quarter to make a half. We are using, by the way, basmati rice. I'm using that because Jack has been making that for his lunches and when he makes it in the Instant Pot, it's already like nice and sticky. So I figured it would work. Three quarter cup of water, one quarter, two quarter, three quarter. And a little bit extra because that one was short. Mix it all together and you know you got the best of both worlds. And Jack says, pressure cook for four minutes. And I had to ask him. I was like, so when you say pressure cook, what does that look like? He said, it's a button that says pressure cook. And then he goes, oh, because you realize that I have no idea what I'm doing. Make sure the thing on the top is set to sealed. Amazing. Put this on. I don't even know how to put this on. <laughs> like, what is this frickin' contraption? Wait, I think I got it. Oh, I got it. And the thing on the top, this, this thingy is set. You guys are like, we know how to work this. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't. So if there's anyone out there that has no idea how to work it, this is for you. So there's a thing called venting. This is venting versus sealed, okay? There's vent and then they're sealed. So he says to put it on sealed. Pressure cook for four minutes and then let it go until you see an 11 on the screen. And then when you see an 11 on the screen, we're gonna release the pressure slowly on the thing on top. And then what we're gonna do is plug it in. That would have been good. I would have been very frustrated if I forgot to plug it in. Pressure cook, four minutes. So it's going on and then it's gonna count down from four minutes. And then there's gonna be like a number that says number in L. And that means that, that is the time lapsed. And we're gonna let it go for 11 minutes and then we're going to slowly release pressure on top. Okay, we're not gonna touch it anymore. That is, that that journey is over. And while that is going, we're gonna gather the rest of our ingredients. In summary, you need this Trader Joe's ahi tuna, the smoked ahi tuna. This is what I picked up in yesterday's Trader Joe's haul. Mayonnaise, sriracha, that's to make like a spicy mayo. An avocado, I think she showed two avocados, but this looks, this will be more than enough for me. A lime, salt and pepper. It's okay, everything. Oh my gosh. Everything but the bagel seasoning and rice vinegar. I picked this up at the store the other day as well, knowing I would make this. And this is roasted garlic rice vinegar. I just thought the flavor would go really nice with this dish. You guys can see so much more of this setup, which is amazing. I'm gonna chop this up and prep my other ingredients. Singing, oh, everybody singing oh. Baby, let me love you. Hey guys, this is, this is a fail. My rice balls did not like 
glue together properly. And I would say that's the most successful rice ball here. And I molded it with my hands. I tried to mold it with my hands before and the rice was far too hot. So I think the only thing I would do differently like with this rice is let the rice cool a little bit so that you can mold it with your hands. But since the flavors are gonna be there anyway, what I'm gonna do is admit defeat with my rice and make myself a bowl with all the ingredients that we got. Let's make a little makeshift Americanized poke bowl. And I put these two in the fridge so they would keep fresh while we were doing the rice balls. Now I'm just gonna layer in the avocado. This is the same order that the TikToker did it on top of her individual rice balls. Next, our tuna mixture. Looks to be, and I taste it all already. I would do the tuna mixture again, definitely less is more with the mayo. She suggested two tablespoons of mayo and that was, that just was too much for sure. And then she tops her little bites off with the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. We have a generic everything but the bagel seasoning from our like local grocery store. And there we have our overall bowl. Would have been little cute little bites, but it still looks freaking bomb. She says to sprinkle with soy sauce, which I wish I had, but I forgot that Jack was in a like stir fry kick recently and he probably ate all the soy sauce because I can't find it. Here we go, first bite. Mmm. Mm. I have a few critiques on myself, slash the video as well. This is good, but definitely a few things I would change. I've already explained the rice situation. I would let the rice cool so I could like cut the rice a little bit better and make it into little rice balls. Um, I think I added too much. <laughs> no, the rice is fine actually. I was gonna say I added too much vinegar. It definitely smelled a little bit vinegary in the kitchen when I added the rice vinegar into the rice. So maybe I would just like go a little lighter on that, but I can't really taste it in the bowl. So that's kind of like negligent. She says two tablespoons of mayo for the tuna mixture itself and that is way too much. I think this has the potential to be so good. The mayo is like so much in my bowl personally. This experience of a bowl is not as epic as it would be in little bites that I could like dip in soy sauce. With those changes, I think we would get there. I'm not giving up. I kind of want to go to Trader Joe's to get more of that tuna. The tuna is so good like by itself. Like the tuna itself is like really good. I'm shocked Trader Joe's has something like that. The thing I did different than the video as well with the avocado. I saw that she showed two avocados in one lime. For a single person, this ended up being really good portion. And I only did one avocado and a half of a lime. So I just halved that because I thought that was a lot of avocado for like one person. But to be fair, if I was making this for Jack and myself, I think two avocados and a whole lime would make sense. But yeah. Overall, the mayo, it's a lot of mayo. And I wish I stopped at one tablespoon and saw how we went, but I was too trustful. Trusting, I was too trusting of the video. I wouldn't call this a total fail because I know what I would do differently next time and there will most likely be a next time. I'm determined about this. And lots and lots of room. Do you wanna show off your musical dance skills? <laughs> he was just showing me his musical dance Bella, skills. You gotta be on it with that camera. Oh, I want, I want you to show them. They don't get to see you do it. Do what? Your musical dance skills. I have no dance skills. Your live musical teenage heartthrob dance see my, skills. Culinary um, skills? No, I want to see. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Guys, we're jamming to a week away soundtrack. And Jackson want to show you his mad musical theater dance skills that he had before we even met, but he was just showing me and they are fire. <laughs>
Good morning, friends. It is the next day, and I actually just got done, well, like, the rough cut of editing Jack and his musical theater dance skills. If you guys don't know, Jack used to be in all sorts of, like, theater guilds and, like, theater clubs and things like that. And he was in all throughout middle school as well as, I think, early high school, so before I even met him. So, when, so whenever he shows off his skills, it's, like, my absolute favorite thing. I personally love musicals. I love going to plays, so I'm kind of, like... He's cute. He's cute when he does his musical dance skills. But guys, that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed today, my friends, and I'm taking you guys along also. We are preparing for a special guest coming into our lives, coming into our home tomorrow. I'm so excited. There's a few things we have to do. There's a few things I have to get at the store that I want to get at the store. We have to clean. I want to do laundry, all that fun stuff. So the next vlog you see will be us preparing for our special guest. Do you have absolutely any idea who this could be? make sure to leave it in the comments below but otherwise guys if you're new and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet make sure you do so down below because we upload videos every single monday wednesday and friday no sunday monday wednesday and sunday everybody do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and i will catch you in the next one my friends i'll see you later bye